So what's the median of a series of terms? Welcome to the video on medians. Now, let's say you have a set of data. The terms given are 5, 3, 7, 2, 1, 5, and 8. And the question says, find the median. Okay. So what exactly is the median? Well, remember, the median is nothing but the middle term. Okay, so you can just find the middle term of the set of data and identify that and point it out. That's your median. But remember an important distinction. The data has to be arranged in ascending or descending order. And then you have to find the middle term. So if you look at the data that I gave you, it's not arranged in ascending order. So the first thing that you need to do is arrange the data. Okay, so I'm going to do that. As you can see, I have a 1 and then a 2 and then a 3. So I can write them down, 1, 2, 3. And then I have a couple of 5s, so 5 and 5. And then I have a 7 and an 8, so 7 and 8. Now, as you can see, the middle term has to be this one, because there are three terms on the left and three on the right, and the fourth term is the middle term. So therefore, the answer would be 5. So your median is 5. Let's try another example. Let's say that you have the following terms given to you. 9, 4, 7, 6, 9, 8, 1, and 10. And the question says, find the median. Now, how do we do this question? Again, step one will be to arrange the data in ascending order. So as you can see, we have the following terms. You have a 1, and then a 4, and then a 6. Let, let me write them down. 1, 4, 6, then I have a 7, then an 8, and then a couple of 9s, and then a 10. Now, when you look at this data, we actually have no single middle term. See, we have four terms in the left, and we have four terms in the right. So there are actually two terms in the middle. Okay? So when that happens, the median then becomes equal to the average of the middle two terms. Okay? That only happens when the number of terms is even. So as you can see, we had eight terms overall here, which is an even number. So the middle term was the fourth term and the fifth term. Okay? So we'll find the average of these two terms at 7 and 8. We add them up and divide by 2, and that gives you 7.5. So that's your answer, okay? So here's an important thing to remember. If the number of terms is odd, then there is only one value in the middle, and that position is n plus 1 over 2. For example, if there are 7 terms, then the middle position will be 7 plus 1, which is 8, divided by 2, and that gives you 4. Let's write that down. So the number of terms is 7, then the median position will be 7 plus 1 divided by 2, which is equal to the fourth position. Okay? I hope that's clear to you. And if the number of terms is even, then you don't have one value in the middle. You have two values in the middle. So the median is the average of the terms in the middle two positions. That is the n over 2, and it's following n upon 2 plus 1 positions. What that means is, for example, if the number of terms is, let's say, 10, okay? So that means that you've got to divide 10 by 2, and that gives you 5. So you've got to find the fifth value and the sixth value, and add them up and divide by 2. This will be your median, okay? Solve this question. We've got to find the median of the data 9, 11, 4, 6, 5, 10, 13, 17, 4, and 2. Go ahead and find it. Okay, so you should have figured out the answer by now. The first thing that you've got to do is you've got to arrange the data. So let's arrange it. Okay. Uh, the smallest number here is 2. And then we have a couple of 4s. So 4 and 4. Then we have a 5 and then a 6. So 5 and a 6. And then we have 
a 9, 10, 9, and 10, and then an 11, 13, and 17. 11, 13, and 17. So once the data is arranged, let's count how many values we have. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 10 values. So since the number of terms is even, we do 10 over 2, that gives you 5. So therefore, we're going to be looking uh, for the fifth and the sixth values and then add them up and divide by 2. So let's count the fifth values. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the fifth value and that's your sixth value. So we say 6 plus 9 over 2. That is 15 over 2, which is equal to 7.5. So that's your answer. That's your median. Now let's learn how to find the median of grouped data. Now the following table represents an example of uh, grouped data. Let's say you ask uh, the students in a small class uh, how many siblings they have. And you discover that a few people have no siblings, then a few have one, and then some have two, some have three, and some even have four. And the number of students that answer to those values are given below in the frequency. So the question basically would want you to figure out the uh, median of this group. So how do we find what is the median number of siblings for this entire group? Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is figure out what is the total number of children that you ask this question. That would basically be the sum of all the frequencies. So you've got to add up all the frequencies and see how many total students responded to the questions. So this, that's called the cumulative frequency. The total frequency okay, is going to be equal to the values in the bottom row. That's 2 plus 4 plus plus 2 plus 3 and that adds up to 15. That means that a total number of 15 students were asked how many siblings they had. Now since 15 is an odd number that means that we can find the median as a single value. So we know that if the number of values is odd, if n is odd which is equal to 15 then the median position is equal to n plus 1 over 2. So we do 15 plus 1 over 2, that gives you 16 upon 2, which is equal to 8. So we now have to find the 8th position. Okay, we need to find the data that corresponds to the 8th position. Okay, so now what we do is we add up all the frequencies. So we find what is called the cumulative frequencies. Okay, so we had two students here, then we had four more here, so two plus four makes it six, and then four more students here, so six plus four makes it, excuse me, let's make it eight, makes it ten, then ten plus two values makes it twelve, and twelve plus three values makes it fifteen. Okay, but we're looking for the eighth position, so up till here we had only two. And up till here we had six values, and up till here we had ten values, which means that the eighth value must have occurred here. So therefore, the eighth value would correspond to two. So the answer is two. The median is here. That's what your median is. Okay. Try the following question. So you do a survey of the people in your neighborhood and you ask them how many cars they have and you discover that a few families have no cars and some have one, some have two, some have three, some have four, and some have five cars. And you want to figure out what is the median number of cars that people have in your neighborhood. So uh, you're asked to figure out the median of that data. So go ahead and uh, press the pause button right now and try the question yourself and then press play to see what the solution is like. Okay, so here's a solution to this question. First of all, you've got to figure out how many total families you have. So the total number of families that you asked this question is going to be equal to 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1. That's the sum of the frequency that this here is your frequency. Okay, we represent this with an F. Okay, 
and uh, so the sum of all the families is going to be uh, 8, 9, 10, 14, 19, plus minus 20. So that's 20 families that you ask this question. So the total frequency is 20, which is an even number. So that means that we don't have one value in the middle. We will now have two values in the middle. Okay. So 20 divided by 2 gives you 10, which means that the positions that you're looking for are the 10th position and the 11th position. And you will have to find them and then find their average. So now what you know is you find the cumulative frequency. Okay, cumulative frequency. Pardon my handwriting. Uh, so you add up all the frequencies. So initially you had three families with no cars. You write three here. Then you have five more being added. So three plus five is eight. And then two more being added. Eight plus two is ten. And then four more. So ten plus four is fourteen. Fourteen plus five is nineteen. And nineteen plus one is. 20. You're looking for the 10th value and the 11th value. So up till here, the total frequency is 10, which means that the 10th value must be 2. So that's 2. And therefore, the 11th value must be the following value, which is 3. So that's 3. So just add up 2 and 3 and divide by 2, and that gives you 2.5. So that there is your median. That's your answer. Okay? So that takes care of the median problems for the grouped data. I hope this is clear to all of you. Good luck.